Ms. Yolanda de Sousa Kamomayer, thank you very much for your interview today. When did you start your journey with art? What was the starting point for that? Well, I, I guess I, I always liked to paint. So my journey started, I think, when I was young, even before I decided to go to an art college. But seriously, it started in, uh, as in, really getting into painting and just giving all my time for it. It started somewhere in 85, 86. What is your favorite medium to work with? Yeah, once upon a time it was um, oil, but I changed to, to acrylic. Acrylic because it dried soon and I like to work fast. Uh, but uh, my technique is very much like watercolors because I like aquarelle very much. So what I'm doing now is a combine of acrylic and a way of using watercolors with acrylics. Please tell us about your production activities in your country. I am an out and out painter, but I also run a gallery uh, because uh, art in Goa in India, it was happening, but Goa is a small state of India and was not much uh, followed. And so I started an art gallery for my friends and for me. It was, one of, it was actually the first uh, public gallery in, in Goa where, where, you know, other artists could also... Um, and I would promote them. I would have them uh, paint and display in my gallery. So. It runs even now, so I paint for myself and I also run a gallery. What is your recent subject of your works? I had, uh, you know, COVID, coronavirus affected the whole world and it, it affected me as an artist also. There was a kind of a block and I could think nothing but the fright of corona, but I decided to get out of it and I started making very small little works based on the virus and, it, and its effects on, on the world. And I had uh, an exhibition, uh, you know, titled after the virus uh, in 21. So for a long time, it still kind of is there. But this workshop brought me totally out of it. Because when I came here, something always uh, you know brings the best out of you and what goes around you and so my mind has uh, kind of strayed away from the virus what is the theme for the work you are making at this camp see when i came here um, i mean we have squid back home you know um, but uh, when i came here i discovered the firefly uh, which really attracted me because it is so cute and, it, and it's like lights up the world uh, that I was attracted to it. So basically I started with still the virus catching on me and some of my works which are kind of done to get myself warmed up were based still on the virus. But when I went to the museum and saw the little fireflies you know, it evoked something in me, and so my subject is the firefly. Please tell us about the creative process of your work. So, basically, uh, wherever I go, whenever there's a camp, I never come prepared with a subject in mind, because I always want to come to a place, uh, learn about it, and then it kind of touches me, and, and, and uh, whatever, touches me, it comes out in my canvas, and so that's exactly what happened here. The going to the museums, the food here, basically, also, you know, starts. And it's a little similar to my place where the, where the seafood is concerned, but it's totally different, yet there is a connect. 
What do you see different in the art camp here in Toyama? I will tell you that every time I've come here, the first time I came in 2015, and then in 2018, and now, you know, what I find very interesting is that every time it has been completely different experience from the first time. The first one, then the second one, and the third one. It is totally different. This is kind of by the seaside and, you know, we have a lot of touch with water. And it has been raining, which uh, reminds me of home. But I enjoy the rain. I love the rain. So, for me, it has been a beautiful experience every time. And every time, it's a new experience. And that is what I like about uh, this camp here. Yeah. Do you have any message for children from all over the world who are interested in art? Absolutely. Just peace and love. Peace and love, you know. That's it. That's what we should be brought up with. <laughs> Do you have any message for artists in Toyama? Yeah, let's work as one. You know, let's work for the betterment of this world. That is what I would want every artist to try. And because we can be more expressive and we can reach out to people through pictures that speak. So that is what I would like to, the artist to promote peace, unity, you know, and stray away from anything that's hateful. Do you have any message for future artists visiting the International Art Camp in Toyama? I would say, don't ever miss a chance to come to Toyama and experience, you know, the, the good feel from, from the people of Japan who are so warm and so helpful that it makes you work in an atmosphere that's beautiful because when international artists meet, and this is one thing that I have seen every art camp here, the whole community of artists who meet here uh, turn out to be as one, you know. So this is something that somebody should not miss experiencing. This I would suggest, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. My absolute pleasure and thank you for having me here and experience Japan and Toyama in special yet again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much once again uh, for inviting me here. Uh, it always is a great pleasure to be here. And I always find things uh, that we don't find back home, and that's what I kind of like to portray. So, this is, I guess you know, in the Pythons. We went to the museum, it was a beautiful experience there, and I thought that I would, you know, make a portrait as in moving around with us as a human. You know, for me, because we get sweet back home, but they are they, they don't look good, you know. This one is very cute. I showed it big to somebody who came and said, show it big. Because it became uh, bigger than any street I've seen before, although it's very small. So I uh, you know, love me, don't eat me. So we went to the museum, there was a little uh, video, you know? <laughs> What did you do? What about you? What about you? So it was kind of a very funny video. So and here I am. I'm funny, cute, unique. Mm -hmm. That's it.